Welcome to Roundtable Radio. I'm Lily Masterson, and this is my podcast on vegan eating. Today, we're going to be talking about some substitutes for eggs in cooking. The first one is applesauce. In some recipes, the eggs are only there to add moisture. If this is the case, applesauce is a good substitute. If you want to use applesauce, you'll still need to use baking powder or soda if it is called for in the recipe. But using applesauce adds a fun flavor to your sweet treats. One fourth cup of applesauce is equivalent to one egg. And if you want to use bananas or any other mashed fruits, they work the same. If you don't like fruit, you can substitute one fourth cup of silken tofu for one egg. The tofu not only adds moisture, but it adds protein to the food too. In order to tell if silken tofu will work in place of the egg, as a general rule, if the recipe is dense, like brownies as opposed to cake, and the recipe already calls for baking soda and baking powder, then tofu will probably work. Remember to puree the silken tofu before you use it, or you will get chunks in the finished product. Another substitute is arrowroot powder. Arrowroot powder is a starch, and it acts as a binder the way that eggs do when they cook and harden in the heat. You'll still need to use baking powder or soda. You need to use two tablespoons of arrowroot powder, and that is equivalent to one egg. To use this powder, you'll need to mix it with water so that you can get moisture, and you can't just put the powder right in. Another substitute is a flag. Flags are really popular these days. A flag is an egg replacement made from flax meal and water. Just mix one tablespoon of flax meal with three tablespoons of hot water and use it in the place of an egg. You cannot just throw flax meal into the batter, so you need to mix it with water separately. Flags will not trap air like eggs do, so they won't work well in recipes like angel food cakes or crepes. They also don't act as leaving leavening agent, so only use flags in recipes which call for vinegar, baking soda, and or baking powder to make the food rise and get fluffy. Another popular product is the Energy Egg Replacer. This product has been around for a long time and has helped make going vegan easier for a lot of people. There are also a few other brands of vegan egg replacers now, but I personally haven't tried them, so I can't attest to how well they work. All egg replacer products are made up of a combination of starches and leavening ingredients, so it does a pretty good job of mimicking eggs in baked recipes. The downside of this product, though, is that you may not be able to find it in your local supermarket, but you can get it on Amazon. It is one of the best options to use if you want to veganize a fluffy, airy bakery recipe, such as sponge cake. Chia seeds are also a really good replacement for eggs. Chia seeds work in the same exact way as flax seeds do to replace eggs in vegan baking. All you need is one to two tablespoons of chia seeds with some hot water, and you need to let it sit a bit, probably overnight, before mixing it in with the rest of the ingredients. Fun fact, this is actually a really popular recipe to make for breakfast If you leave some chia seeds and some oats in water overnight in your fridge, they thicken up and it's a really healthy breakfast and great vegan source of omega-3s. You know how baking soda and vinegar bubble up when you mix them together? Well, these two are a perfect way to add some fluffy airiness to your baked goods without relying on eggs. All you need is one teaspoon of baking soda with one teaspoon of white vinegar, specifically white vinegar, to replace one egg. The reason that white vinegar is best to use is because it doesn't taste as weird as, say, balsamic vinegar vinegar, or apple cider vinegar, which are both really bitter and would add a really weird taste to something that you're eating. I hope you enjoyed my podcast today and are inspired to do some vegan cooking of your own own at home with these replacements.